<laughs> Hello, Graham. Good morning to you. Thanks, thanks for coming on, on camera for us. Yeah, good morning. Good morning. So, you were wearing that cap, which is fine. You go into Tesco's and they won't let you in. What happened? Yes, well, it was Tesco Express at Gornal, not the main Tesco's in Dudley. Okay. But I went in <clears throat> and the security guard on the door uh, just touched my arm and said, excuse me, sir, uh, you can't come in. We've got a no-hats policy. <laughs> and a customer that was coming by just stopped and gawped at him. Yeah. And I said, you've got to be... It's ridiculous. I said, I've come in most days. I, yeah, it's my local shop. Uh, but seemingly they had a, a temporary uh, guard on for that night. Yes. And uh, he thought, you know, no hats is no hats, and that was it. And did you take it off, or did you storm off? No, we, the wife and I just came back out. We said, well, we won't stop there then, you know, it's stupid. The thing is, what it, what, where the confusion lies is that, as you say, he was a temporary guard, and he'd been told, that, and this is true, that the store policy is you can't go in wearing a hoodie, you can't have a hoodie up, and if you go in with your crash helmet on, if you've gone on your scooter or your motorbike, uh, even if the visor's up, you can't wear you, your crash helmet, because, obviously, it, it conceals your identity to some extent. But he took it literally and thought it meant that anything on anyone's head, um, you know, like a, like a rain hat on an old lady, would, was, was verboten. Well, that's what he said, you know, that... Uh... And he refused me access. I, he said oh. I, I had to leave the store. And Graham, why do you love your flat cap so much? Do you wear it all the time? Well, I normally wear a trilby, oh, but do because you? it's been warm weather, I've we've had I've got this cotton flat cap, and which yeah. is a lot lighter. Yeah. And yes. I thought I'd wear that instead. Very oh, stylish, a trilby. Yeah, Mr. Star to, guy, to yeah. go shopping. Very, very. What nice. colour's the trilby? It's like um, a tweed type. Is it? Is it within arm's reach? Can you get it, or is it upstairs or something? I haven't. I'm not at home at the moment. Oh, OK. Oh. All right, all right. Mind. Well, listen, Tesco's have said sorry, haven't they? Did you, com did you complain to them about it, then? Well, I complained. I had to phone four times in the end. I actually got through to Dundee, which is their customer services. Yeah. Uh, <clears> that was a waste of time. And they said, well, put me through to another department, which they put me through to the store again. <laughs> and, uh, and the lady there said, well, the manager's not in till that afternoon, till the Wednesday afternoon. Yes. Uh, she came in. <clears throat> she eventually gave me a ring, but I missed her call, so I phoned her back. And she says, you know, that she's been talking to a lot of people about this, so yeah. she didn't phone me back and well, to other people. Well, I'll tell you what, people. you've made a stand for all hat wearers. Absolutely. Thank you, Graham. And listen, let's to be fair to Tesco, they've 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 held their hands up for this. A Tesco spokesman told us that the security guard, quote, implemented our policy on no hoodies or crash helmets incorrectly and has since been, I love this, retrained. <laughs> Otherwise they've gone by the lapels and said, You idiot, <laughs> you idiot. Oh, that's retraining. They added we would like to apologize to our customer, that's you, mate, uh, for the inconvenience caused, and our store manager will be very happy to welcome him back into the store to discuss the matter with him. You might, you might get a free jar of coffee, you never know. Yeah, uh, wear your trilby and your well, flat cap I, next I, time. I just thought it was down to Tesco to come to me, not me go to them. Well... <laughs> all right. Uh, Ooh, he holds his feet to yeah, the fire, doesn't he? Yeah, good, yeah. All right, all right Graeme, thanks for talking to us this morning. Okay, thank you. Thanks. OK, bye-bye.